Hello friends of Onkyo. In the last video we talked about the philosophy of Onkyo and the core technologies we use in our amplification systems. Now we dive deeper under the hood of our amplifiers and we take a look at the VLSC, our secret weapon to eliminate pulse noise, which is created in the conversion phase. So stay tuned for Inside Onkyo. So as promised, we're going to talk about the VLSC, the Vector Linear Shaping Circuitry. So we're at the conversion stage of music. Now we are converting the digital signal into analog. And during that process, a certain noise is created. Let me show you a small example of this. Bear with me. What we've just listened to is an A, 440 hertz. But the A isn't solely an A, because there's, there's other reverberations at 880 hertz, 1760 hertz, and above. So we've got higher frequencies around that one single note. These are called harmonics. And you've got harmonics with every single instrument that there is. Now, the A on the guitar, the same 440 hertz A on a piano would sound completely different, even though it's the same note. And that's the harmonics surrounding it. Now, we're at the conversion stage where digital information is converted into analog information. And during that process, a certain pulse noise is created. I'll tell you more about that later. Conventional brands now use a high cut filter to cut away higher frequencies that contain that noise. But as you could hear before, our 440 hertz tone has other tones connected to it and they are in higher frequencies. So these frequencies are cut away as well and we lose information, we lose richness of the sound. And we at Onkyo have a better solution. We at Onkyo have a patented technology called VLSC which stands for Vector Linear Shaping Circuitry. In the conversion from digital to analog, you need to upsample the information sometimes eight, sometimes 16 times. So this generates a certain pulse, which is added to the waveform. So a clean waveform like this has added pulse noise on it. Take a look at this. After the DAC, you get this as a result. As you can see, it's not a clean waveform. You've got pulse noise, which is actually, maybe you can see that when you look, take a little closer look, you can see that the, the pulse noise up and down is at the same value. It's the same height of the bump above and below. Now what we've been thinking about is, if we only need the original line of the waveform, why do we actually have to look at the pulse noise at all? So what we've created is the following. We are following the vector, the direction of the waveform. And we're analyzing that in real time. So following that waveform, we can ignore all the pulse noise around it. Because the pulse noise, let's say simplified, it's, uh, it's, it's a bump of plus one to go up and a bump of minus one to go down. So from the direction of the, of the vector, you can ignore that pulse noise information completely. The result is this. It's a clean waveform, which we have generated by analyzing the actual shape of the waveform that, that came out of the DAC, and by ignoring the whole noise situation completely. So, if you remember, we're at that stage. It's the first stage in our amplification process, the conversion stage. If you now introduce a noisy signal into the rest of the amplification, that noisy signal would be magnified by the next stage. 
what we've done with the VLSC is eliminating all that pulse noise. So there's no pulse noise at all anymore and we've got a clean waveform to go into the next phase, the non-phase shift amp amplification phase. So if you want to know what's happening in the next stage, the amplification stage, with the non-phase shift amp, tune into our next episode of Inside Onkyo.